This is a demonstration by Flambeau Fluid Systems showing the assembly of a carbon canister which meets carbon EPA standards. We're using the demonstration with a 400 cc canister. What we're going to show specifically is how the carbon canister is mounted location wise at some of the components we offer. First we have two mounting brackets that are installed which Flambeau produces. One key thing to keep in mind is to mount the canister at or above the top level of the fuel tank as a precautionary measure to minimize any liquid fuel from getting into the canister. These two mounting brackets are held in place by machine screws. The mounting width we recommend is to simply use the width of the two flanges on the carbon canister and then mount the canister between those. The canister is then held in place with two specialty nylon straps that we offer. These are woven through the mounting brackets like this. We have another bracket in the way which makes this a little challenging, but the idea is to weave those through first and then set your canister in place and then manually put your strap together and hand tighten. We will tighten both of them and then they will be cinched up tight with a tensioning and cutoff tool to make them secure and this will also cut the ends of the straps off flush. Flambeau does also offer the cinch and cut tool. It is important to remember when mounting your canister to have the dust shield generally pointing downward or sideways as much as possible to minimize water from getting inside. The canisters can be mounted horizontally, vertically, or in any orientation. There is no specific requirement. We will now cinch up the mounting straps. The tool does have adjustments on it for tensioning, tightness, as well as cutoff. So if you want them tighter, you can do so with how you set the tool. So as you can see, the straps and the canister are very tight, and this concludes our demonstration on how to mount a carbon canister for a fuel system. Thank you.